Okay, here's a warm-up for today. Make sure you pause it until you're ready to go over it. Number one, two angles are supplementary. If the first angle measures x plus 14 and the second angle is x, what is the value of x? Well, in this case, supplementary means a straight line. So basically, we have a straight line broken into a couple angles. One measures x plus 14, and one just measures x. So to find what x is worth, we know that these two angles together will add up to 180 degrees. So that x plus 14, this angle plus x, will add up to 180. And there's my equation. So from there, it's just the same thing we've been doing for a long time. We get 2x plus 14. And we'll have to subtract 14 from each side. 180 minus 14 is 166 equals 2x. We'll divide each side by 2. So 166 divided by 2 gives us x with a value of 83. Number two, a captain calls heads on a coin flip four games in a row. What is the probability that the coin landed on heads all four times? Well, this seems like it might be pretty simple to do because we're just talking about a one out of two chance. But we're looking for four heads in a row. So the first time the captain goes out to the coin flip, he or she has a one out of two chance of getting a heads. Then a one out of two on the second flip, and in the third game, one out of two, and in the fourth game, one out of two. So a common mistake here is to say this is a one out of eight chance, but we're actually multiplying. We're not adding these. Two times two is four, four times two is eight. 8 times 2 is 16. So there's only a 1 out of 16 chance that that occurs. And if you want to know what that is as a percentage, it's just 1 divided by 16. It's about a 6% chance of happening. So it's very rare. Number 3, a two-step equation. This time we really got to be careful with our negatives here. So first we'll add 5 to put 5 to the plus that negative 5. That leaves us to negative 2x equals negative 11. Now here's the key. We'll divide each side by negative 2. So if you had a calculator with negative buttons, you'd type that in. Otherwise, you kind of just have to know going forward a negative divided by a negative is going to be a positive. And then 11 divided by 2 is 5.5, so positive 5.5 or positive 5.5. The last one, what is the area of a circle with a diameter of 12? Well, diameter goes all the way across the circle. So if the diameter is 12, that means the radius is 6. We're looking for the area. The area of a circle is area equals pi times radius squared. Area equals 3.14 times 6 to the second power. And on your calculator, what you would do is just 3.14 times 6 to the second power, which is 36. And you'd find an area of 113. 0.04. Now, if you didn't have a calculator and you need to estimate, you would just do 3 times 36 and give you 108, so it would be a little bit off um, if you don't include 